Hello, welcome back to basic programming. So, let us see another program in this video. Okay, let us see uh, a small program to do some calculation, for example, addition. So, let me give the remark for the program rem program to add two numbers so this is a remark statement okay in the next line line number 20 let a equal to 10 in the 30th line, let B equal to uh, 30 and in the next line, let sum equal to A plus B. That means a value 10 is stored in a variable A and another value 30, it is being stored in another variable B and here we can calculate the sum of both the numbers that is a plus b and the sum will be the added value of a and b will be stored in the variable sum so all these symbols a b and sum are the user defined variables or our own variables for storing some values in it it's only for our own purpose and in the 50th line uh, let me print the result now the result is in sum because a and b both these values are added and the result the sum will be stored in the sum the variable sum so let me print the sum and in the 60th line end so again one more thing if you do that will be better uh, that is cls to clear the screen so this is a simple program to add two numbers let me uh, run and see this ok 40 10 plus 30 equal to 40 that value is printed here ok suppose if you give some other variable here instead of sum ok let me give c instead of sum then also it won't make any difference because whatever variable name we are giving here it's only for our purpose of reference nothing more than that a b c x y z whatever name you can you wanted to use that you can use but there are certain limitations which uh, there are certain things we cannot use and all uh, use uh, use as the variable names those details we will see later but all these symbols a b c x y z i j k l m n and all are suitable for giving the names of a variable so this program okay it is giving answer this is a simple program and in this program we can uh, find the sum of two numbers ok hope you have enjoyed this video this is a simple pro program try this program in your basic interpreter and try it out run the program and see it if you want to make some changes and do those changes and try it out if you have any problem or if you have any queries, please feel free to write to me. My email id is it underscore teacher1 at yahoo.com. Thank you for watching this video.